Okay, let's play some Mario. Okay, so let's talk about Cookie Mountain. I I really enjoy Cookie Mountain in itself. For some reason, this little that little ledge has always annoyed me. Like it's cute, but I wish they'd either done that more or less. I mean, look at that. That's adorable. Why can't I do that more often? I need to go specifically to Cookie Cookie Mountain. Cookie. Uh, what was what was the name of uh? What was the name of heaven in Animal Farm? Uh, Sugar Candy Mountain. That was it. By the way, if you've not read Animal Farm, please do it. It is one of the best, best books of all time. Oh, this was so satisfying, just seeing them get hit like that. I find it odd that you can hit the moles, like you can hit the moles out of their holes, and the holes themselves will fly out. Wow. So cool. So awesome. I love this game. <sighs> now, these fellows... I don't... Are these guys trying to be like... Bigger, fatter Hammer Brothers? Are no, I'm sorry. They're the, they're the sumo guys. For some reason, I thought they're they were slamming hammers on the ground. Hey, oh, it's because of the coin. I was like, why didn't your thing go down? Are they called sumo slammers? There's something like that. Oh, sure, the mole can get through. Whatever game. Ooh, I still got him. Did you see that? You got to go back and do a quick hello. What's all this then? Oh, you can't just do a big pipe like that and not let me go in it. Ah, That's like super secret territory there, man. Ooh, if I had fallen down that hole again. By the way, have you guys ever seen the, uh... The old Sherlock Holmes, like Basil Rathbone Sherlock Holmes? If you haven't, they're hilariously funny and old-timey. There's this one episode where, uh... Holmes and Watson are... Are chasing like a swamp monster or something like that in this really like dank humid area and uh <laughs> Watson yells out to Holmes 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 come and help me oh no no time to shit out eggs ooh hold on I'm, I have time for this I forgot about this cloud thing I never really got what this does this is just hand out points hold on it, it, it deserves its own little time here Cool. And we don't get to hear the ending theme all that often. Ah, look how easy it is. Okay, we got like 30 seconds to get out of here. I'm not leaving you behind, Yoshi. But yeah, so the Basil Rathbone guy. Um, Watson is like, Holmes, Holmes, come help me! And then they finally get there, and it's literally just Holmes in like this gross mud hole. And he goes, Holmes, I've fallen in a hole! And uh, they get him out, and then at the end of the episode where they're chasing down the swamp monster they're like we've got the swamp monster where's 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 watson and he goes Holmes, oh, oh, help me i've fallen down the hole again it's just so funny anyway um ludwig's cast now what's interesting is all of the other koopa kids have a counterpart um up to date um the first three all have other uh counterparts but ludwig is kind of unique in his own way because he isn't the he isn't one of the kids where he's on a platform and you need to knock him off, and he's not in the tubes where you need to kind of, like, guess which one is him, and he doesn't go on the ceiling and the room gets smaller and smaller. He Ludwig is actually a very interesting, interesting fight, and I'm looking forward to it. And if I remember correctly, his castle is actually quite, quite fascinating in and of itself, and I'm just, I'm saying screw you to this level. Boom, look at that. I got all the way to the halfway point without really doing anything. Oh yeah, this is that one that slows down horrifically. No! No! I, I'm taking the piss out of this level, and now it's going to piss all over me. No. Not getting killed by the maggot. Whatever these things are. Koopas? Koopas without their shells? They look like maggots. It's weird. Yes! Oh, that should have hit the bar. That was like a pixel away. What are you doing? Well, there you go. I told some really long and rambling stories. I didn't even need to beat that level. I was already there. What am I fucking doing with my life? <sighs> okay. There. I've, I've told some really long and rambling stories, and uh, hopefully that should... Uh... Ooh, I love this little tunnel level. Brr, brr. I do remember Ludwig's castle. Let's see if I can do that thing. Yeah, it's right here. Let's see. If you st if you stand like right here, 
Whoa, what am I gonna get hit by? Where's this one? There's one point where you can stand. That's not good. Bump. <laughs> there I am trying to get fancy again. Come on, I've got nine lives. If I die nine times, then this is all over. Game over, man. Game over. Man. I really shouldn't quote movies that I haven't seen. I haven't seen Alien 2. I've seen the first Aliens, but I haven't haven't seen the second one. That's that's a thing with me is if I am uh, if I'm satisfied with an experience like um for example, the BioShock series. I loved the first BioShock and it, I was so oh shit. No. Eh. I was so satisfied with the BioShock game that I didn't feel that I needed a continuation. And that's that's a problem I have where Sometimes I feel like, oh, I love the first Alien movie. I don't need to spend any more time in the universe. Whatever comes afterwards might be good, but I've I've enjoyed the time that I have, and it's it's time. It's not like um, it's not like Back to the Future where you have to watch the rest to get the most the most of the story. You know, the first one was good, but it's, there was such a question mark that you have to continue it no matter what. You know, um. But Back to the Future was a movie that I I absolutely loved, but I wanted more of. And if I had to rank them in order of awesomeness, I would definitely say that uh, the first and third are tied for me. But uh, the, the second one, just something about the second one, I love so much. Ugh, speaking of loving so much, let's get in there, Ludwig. Now now notice, you're like, where's where's Ludwig? Where is he? Where is this man? He's basically Bowser Jr. Because he's doing the whole, like, you know, going up to him and seeing that he's just shooting fireballs at you. I think this is the, the Koopa Kid that most emulates Bowser. And I, I really enjoy Ludwig's fight. Because it feels a little bit more epic. I hate, to, I hate to use that word. That word is so overused. But it feels more... Monumental, there we go. It feels much more, like, important than the other Koopa kids. It's like, the, the screen can scroll, he does different things, he shoots fire. Ooh! Ah, there it is. I want to get him in a really good pose. Oh, well. Hooray! This also has, perhaps, my favorite uh, castle-destroying scene. I really enjoy this one. Let's have a look-see and see what it is. Uh, we take the, mush the the mushroom egg out and we we hit it, and then what does it do? It rockets up into the sky and hits the background and goes. <laughs> Yay! Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa sy uh, symphonies in Castle Number Four are over. The forest of illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. <laughs> now. As far as, I love that they even put in the detail in the back that he, he did crash into it. And that was a very weak belch of mine. Yay! There we go. So now we're into the Forest of Illusion. Arguably one of the more frustrating bits. Ah, the Wiggler. <sighs> I am very, very, very much looking forward to using the, the Wiggler in the Mario Maker game. And actually, to be honest, that might be the next game that I review. Um... Because Nintendo is very protective of their IPs, and uh, particularly the new ones, I mean, it just goes to show that even if the this this music right here, um, I'm gonna be lucky if I get it if I don't get it copyright claimed. This is over, what? This is over 25 years old, and they're still really protecting it. So they they really really care about uh, what what image they put out there, and. Uh, and I don't agree with everything that Nintendo does, like me getting killed by that angry Wiggler butt, which, taken out of context, that could sound very odd. Um, but I feel like if I if I tried to record a review of that game, that it would be best if I... I'm sorry. If I was going to record that game, I feel it would be best if I did a review rather than a playthrough. Because I mean, it's just gonna—it's—it's a—it's a, it's a game about custom levels. I mean, I could play it. I might—I I could stream it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd be very interested to hear what you think. And I'm very lucky, by the way, to uh, have the kind of 
again, I don't want to say fan base, but I'll say uh, viewing audience that uh, is very vocal with... Oh, this is, this is the way you can get the most lives in the game. Look at this. Oh, it slows down horrifically, but man, if you get some speed going, you this is where, this is the place where you can get hundreds of lives in matters of minutes. Look at this. Look at this. Wonderful. Oh, he's invincible and a balloon. Mario, you monster. And you know, I believe that the, uh, the reason why Nintendo is so fanatical about protecting their IPs these days is because of the, uh, the infamous... CDI debacles that took place a long time ago and you know the uh, the Mario TV show the Super Mario super special super hour whatever oh, what was it the Super Mario Brothers super show I believe it was just really goofy things and uh, I can understand I can understand because we still make fun of those things to this day so it's it's fair enough that they would really want to be protective of their shit <laughs>